Kindling the Fire, Unveiling the Meaning Hello and welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, kindling the fire. This expression is not just about lighting a fire literally, but it's rich in metaphorical meanings too. Stay tuned as we dive into the depths of this phrase, understand its usage, and see how it can add flair to your English conversations. Kindling the fire literally refers to the act of starting a fire. Kindling is the small pieces of wood or other combustible materials used to ignite a fire. This process is essential in building a fire that lasts. It's a skill often associated with camping or survival techniques. But how does this translate into everyday English conversation? Let's find out in the next section. In a metaphorical sense, kindling the fire is used to describe the act of starting something or stirring up an emotion or situation. It could refer to beginning a project, sparking an idea, or even inciting emotions like excitement or anger. For example, saying, his speech kindled the fire of enthusiasm among the audience, means that his speech sparked a lot of enthusiasm. Now, let's see how you can use this phrase in your daily conversations. It's a great way to add a poetic touch, emphasize the beginning of something significant. For instance, the new policy kindled the fire of debate in the community. Her passion for art kindled a fire in her to start her own gallery. Notice how the phrase adds depth and emotion to the sentences. To get a better grasp, let's look at some examples from literature and media. This phrase has been used in various contexts, showing its versatility. For example, in a novel, you might find a sentence like, the injustice he witnessed kindled a fire within him to fight for change. In movies, a character might say, we need to kindle the fire of hope in these dark times. I hope this video has kindled the fire of curiosity and learning in you. Remember, kindling the fire is a beautiful, versatile phrase that you can use in both literal and metaphorical contexts. It's a great addition to your English vocabulary, especially if you want to sound poetic or emphasize the start of something important. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.